Well, you've now been watching Info on television for the past few months, and today we thought we'd show you how it's made. To start with, you've got to have a camera. And this is the camera we use, and it's a portable TK76, it's called. This camera runs on batteries, and I'll show you that first of all. This is a battery belt. And the cameraman places this around his waist, like so, and that's his power for the camera. Now with the camera itself, it's got a lens, which is the front part right here. We'll just turn it around. That's the lens there. Now on the lens, we have a zoom. This is so we can zoom in and out. We also have a focus, which is at the front. Also, to know what he's looking at, the cameraman, he has to have a viewfinder. This is this little part here of the camera. And if he looks in there, there's a tiny little monitor. It must be one of the smallest TVs in the world. And if you look in there, you can see exactly what you want to shoot for the story. Now, after that, you're probably wondering where we go from there. Well, there's a vision lead on the back of the camera. And this lead goes all the way to a portable um, Sony recorder, this is called. And to use it, we must have a cassette. Now, the cassette comes in a little case like this. It's three-quarter inch. And you can see the two spools there. So what we do now is pre press the button of the recorder and place it into the machine. Whoops. We're nearly ready to go. All we have to do is press the record button to record our story. Also, you're probably wondering where all the sound comes from. Well, of course, we've got to have sound in most of our stories. So we use what we call a shotgun microphone. Now, the reason it's called a shotgun microphone is because you aim it in the direction of the sound, wherever the sound is coming from. And this big socket on it here, that's to stop wind noises. The microphone has got to be plugged in the recorder too, so we can record sound. And it's plugged into here. This is a mic input. And we just plug it in there and we're ready to go. Except there's one thing missing, we haven't got any power for the recorder. So we have a battery. It's a little bit different from the battery we use for the camera. That's in here. Oops, just pull it out. Ah. And that's the sort of battery we use for the recorder. Well, now we've recorded all our stories. We take the cassette out, place it back in its container, and we're ready to go back up to the station and start producing info. So, let's go back and see what we can do with info. Now with the tape we've used today, what we do, we place it into another machine. This is called a Sony machine. We play that and we're going to transfer the material from this onto another machine. It's a videotape machine and it's got tape that is two inches wide. Come with me and I'll show you what machine we're going to use. Well this is the machine I was telling you about and we're getting all the material from the small Sony machine onto this big videotape machine. As you can see up here, it's the same sort of material that was on the other machine. Now all we have to do is get a clean tape, place it on another machine, and pick out the best bits of the story which we want to use. Sometimes we can shoot about an hour's worth of material, but only use five minutes, but it's better to shoot a lot of material and then work out what we want to use. Well, you normally only see me on info, but of course there's a lot of other people involved, like the cameraman, the sound man, and the producer who organises the story. So next, when you see info on television, you'll know exactly how it's made.